Okay, now, what I want you to do is do it over and over, but in slow motion. And come back, and just keep doing it. Slow motion. Now, what he's demonstrating is a waveform. He's raising his heel, but let's let's let him keep his heel down for now. Keep his heel down and just do the same thing. You'll notice that he starts from a stable base. He winds back slightly. He begins to move from his foot and ankle. He comes forward with his body, follows through, and comes back. And what he's demonstrating is a horizontal weight. Now, the idea of waveform, since he's really getting the rhythm now, let me continue. The idea of waveform is to take a unit of energy starting at our base, and as it moves up, add muscle, 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 and in addition, joint, joint, joint continuously up the body and out the extremity that's impacting the target. So in his case, he's taking as much as he can to make that stone go through that velocity. This is a very natural movement. If instead he just did this, it's all on, and he's added nothing to it. Now this, in concept and demonstration, is a wave form. It is a force multiplier. It adds energy continuously. And if he was really fast at this, it would crack at the end like a whip. And in concept, a whip is exactly how it behaves. Does that make sense? Okay. As I said before, there were two types of striking. I hesitate to make him stop, he's got a groove going. <laughs> okay, but let's let him stop for a second. There are two types of striking. One is take a solid mass like a ball in the wall, and here I'm not referring to the drug, um, and move that mass as if nothing was in between. This is pretty much what you're most accustomed to. Conceptually, it's sort of the, the versions of Shotokan and Taekwondo, uh, especially the movie one, that we use. Okay? The idea is to get your body mass moving, as it is in any martial art. Anything that's just not only looks really windy for the camera, but it just doesn't do anything. The second type of striking is what we call a waveform. And it exists in all of it. Uh, those of you who've seen ITF type one though, have seen this. Now I'm exaggerating just to make it look smooth because but the concept here, and they'll refer to it as a sine wave. Conceptually, they're trying to do the same thing. Unfortunately, they've lost the lesson that that teaches them. The idea of it is to come in utilizing the weight. In other words, they're sequentially moving the power up the body, adding each joint to it, timing it so that it lands just before the foot and impacts. However, what often happens when lessons go awry is everything comes up, blah, 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 and everything settles down, and that's it. The entire thing is lost. Any questions? Does it make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. I have to tell you, you are now treading <clears throat> more than any other module that we've done so far into advanced martial arts. Okay? 
the idea of utilizing the body as a whip and staying relaxed as opposed to is something that we don't usually experience. Uh, most people have not seen really advanced martial artists. Uh, they're absolutely incredible. They look like rubber bands moving. It, it's just, it, it's, everything is so fluid and, and just, you know, moves from place to place and, you know, it just looks like you're doing nothing. And um, if you've ever seen, like, those tops that hit things that just blow right off because the top is spinning so fast, this is what it looks like. They just kind of all into just like, the guy goes flying across the room and it looks like nothing happened. We start out with very large waves so that we can learn how to get it together, get our time and sequence and everything. And eventually the waves don't even look like they're happening. And at very advanced levels, it's all going on in here. And you don't see it. Okay? So that's what we're going to practice today. 